Uh, welcome back, everyone. The guys, this is about uh, 333 pounds. My new PR for the sled pull. Watch it in in the uh, video highlights. It will be posted uh, today on my channel, YouTube channel. Unbelievable. Fuck, this is so fucking exciting. I'm fucking believable. See, notice that my this is the first time you're gonna see on the video me pulling, pulling, not pushing. Uh, well, pulling, pushing, because I use the gets below my butt the tricep uh, cable uh, push down. Uh, but still, you know, if you know, if you watch professional amateur truck pulling in strongman, they they are pulling a cable uh, up front while also pulling with a uh, with a uh, belt around their waist in the track so they're pulling they're pulling from the top of the body and then they uh, they have uh, an attachment that goes uh, the opposite direction from behind them so they have a cable that that is in front of them taut and controlled by somebody else and and uh, but i don't have that uh, assistance because, you know, you have somebody, you have to have somebody holding, holding it uh, and, uh, a little bit so that it's more ergonomic to pull and not, not, uh, not uh, grabbing it and controlling it all yourself. So, so I quickly found out what my fucking expertise is, my strengths. And it's, and it's the pulling. Oh, man. It's just pure pulling. I mean... Gosh, man, I, I I must I have at least a three to one ratio of power and strength. Uh, from um, three, to, three to one ratio, the three is uh, po my posterior chain, especially my my midriff, my butt, hamstring, and the the, the, uh, the lower back, uh, and my static, static, uh, quasi semi static, um, isometric uh, strength, sort of like a little bit like Eddie Hall uh, type. And this is all fucking believable. Long distance is uh, three, three thirty-three, three, three thirty pounds or so. And you're gonna see, I did pretty much the length. This is so fucking exciting. And and and, and it's good to have uh, some really fucking good hard shoes, not those fucking uh, soft and running shoes. Really good quality leather because it really puts the strain. You know, on your toes, you don't want to go through the, the front of your shoe. And you'll notice how I do it because, you know, it's not a perfectly rubbery, sticky, sticky, sticky uh, track this. You know, it's dirt, a little bit dirty, sand, dust, a little, little bit of gravel and stuff like that. And it's painted over. Uh, maybe I should have not painted over because maybe it reduces the, the traction a little bit. But it is, you know, a recycled tire rubbers. It's very good. and But also, also I jerk it a little bit. You know, I do not... This, at least with this amount of weight, I jerk it. I jerk it backward a little bit. You know, I try to, to take a few steps uh, continuous. Oh, man. The thing is that, also, I'm not heavy enough. Uh, I'm not heavy enough. This is, like, basically twice my weight. I'm at... Uh, yeah, basically, almost, uh, basically twice my weight. And so, on fucking believable. Start today. On fucking believable, man. You, you can start. Look, you can start in your driveway. You know I me. Mean? I know not everybody is fucking lucky to to live like, like me here and out of nowhere and and having this massive uh, space here to work out and play with a big mo motherfucking uh, commercial sound system. Hey, but find a way. To do some major CNS-centric strength training. Not bodybuilding type of stuff. The component bo bo bodybuilding that is the only part really that is really useful is for the, the prehab and the rehab. The before and after you do the actual heavy ass fucking strength training. Okay, it's to prepare your, 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 uh, your joints. Bring fluid in there. Warm them up. Because your, 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 weak, your weakest point will always be, always be, always be your connective tissue, the ligaments, the tendons, the joints. First of all, the knees. And then secondary, the, the hips. 
and then the, uh, the elbows and, and so on and so on, the shoulders before the elbows even. Okay? Too much people are like fucking scary shitless to do at least twice a month. Heavy, heavy fucking ass centric CNS, central nervous system centric, all out, all out. For just a few seconds, under 20 seconds. No more. Heavy ass. CNS centric. Over the top nuclear turbo overload. To, uh, especially if you're uh, alone, you know, to near passing out. Don't pass out when you're alone. And you have nobody nearby to, uh, to take care of you. If you do go beyond uh, you're at a certain level where you do actually pass out. See, if you enjoy passing out by going beyond your fucking limits, make sure you have a trusted person near you, supervising you. I don't. Sad, eh? Fucking sad. All right. Exciting, eh? <laughs> a little, little word also, an extreme PSA uh, uh, advice here from uh, an old fucking dude here. I know, I know, it's one or two weeks now from the fucking most important election in this fucking history of this fucked up world. In the United States, eh? What, what I found out intellectually, in theory, and... 1990, in 19 fucking 90, okay, 30 years ago. No, it's more than that. What the fuck am I saying, man? 1990. Yeah, 1990. 89, 31 years ago. Is that uh, your, your powers, your control over your life, to the extent you do it, your resilience, your resilience, resiliency powers will always, always, no matter what the political, social, and economic status Yeah, in your local area, national area, that affects you the most, in your geographical area, in, your, in, this, uh, in, in this world. More often than not, your self-control of your intellectual, emotional, financial, physical, mental, social uh, context of your life will always outflank, override, be more useful, powerful at the end of the day. Fuck, I hate this modern expression. Expression. Because, oh, fuck, it's overused, eh? But hey, I'll just... if, if my message can reach a little bit more people, if, if, it, if, it, if it seems to be a little bit more cool sounding to younger people today, younger men, well, so be it, eh? So at the end of the day, and always, always, I found this the fucking hard way. In many ways, too late. Well, always, always, be more of a value. Power will be more of a survival prosperity. Benefit to you. And you're, hopefully you have one, or you, you're building one, or you, uh, most of all, you have not quit in uh, looking, searching, working the, the necessary self-duty. I call it the self-duty, the biological, biological self-duty that us men should do. Will always be more beneficial to... One's all male tribe. So temper, temper some more often than not your involvement in the fucking social media on fucking Facebook, Twitter, and all these places, eh? Like try to mediate them, modulate your amount of time and energy, eh? On that desk, eh? It's very easy, eh? Very easy to. 
you know, go, go down the rabbit hole even even for a few seconds or a few minutes too much, then eh, you normally prefer or you think it's a, uh, you know, you know, that you think you really know that you, uh, that is uh, detrimental when you go over a certain amount of time in context, in period of the day, period of the week, doing online living, eh? All right, now go stop. Playing fucking video games and and do some of this, huh? Look, you can use any. You can buy strap, bungee strap if you want to. Any any long enough strap. Take just one, one, one plate, one plate. Hey, hey, man. Easily one. Hey, you no know, guys, don't be a wimp. You could, you should easily pull and you know, on. You put the strap and you know, loop it up in the hole. With a 45 pound plate, eh? And pull it! And of course, eventually put two, two plates and so on, three plates, and you drag it in your driveway. Fuck the sound, fuck the uh, damaging a little bit of your asphalt and stuff like that, you fucking urban people, eh? Do it in your backyard, I don't know, buy, buy a few of these, you know, in, 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 in the United States, you have a uh, tractor supply, supply tractor, whatever the fuck it is there. You know, when I used to work for this company that, that made these uh, four by six feet recycled 98 pound uh, rubber uh, mats. You know, they go on to uh, cows, commercial uh, cow uh, uh, companies, d dairy farms. <laughs> you buy, maybe buy a few, maybe, uh, you know, two, three, four of them, line them up in your backyard. <laughs> Right? Man, I hope you fucking realize not too late in your life the power, self protective, protective power, power, all the way down to a biological, mitochondrial, cellular level, the power of occasional, smart, strategic, short sessions of cinecentric strength training. Not the fucking bodybuilding. You fucking homo, eh? Peace out.